Hello YouTube and welcome to an unboxing, a special one. <laughs> it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Movie Figures by NECA. Um, I've been looking for these figures ever since uh, Emerald City Comic Con of this year. I saw them at a couple booths and I waited too long and they were gone. Uh, I mean they were priced way more than the retail but you know that's typical going to a convention and and if you wait too long they're gone but you know short story I went to Toys R Us to look for some Funko Pops and these were on the shelves in the uh, Ninja Turtle aisle or not the Ninja Turtle aisle the uh, area where they carry like the NECA figures movie lines sports uh, figures um, all other kind of things like Mega Man but yeah uh, I saw the uh, Leonardo and Donatello on the shelf for uh, a reasonable price the retail price <laughs> and I had a couple of Toys R Us uh, uh, coupons so it made it a little bit cheaper and I looked at a couple other Toys R Us trying to find the Raphael and no such luck but I found their website carried it so I was able to order it online and use a couple coupons to get it you know a little bit cheaper free shipping and it was well packaged it came in the uh, shipping box that came straight from NECA to Toys R Us so it was well packaged it had uh, foam on the top and bottom and uh, the tissue paper that surrounded the whole thing so the Raphael box is really nice um, Honestly, I, I honestly don't care about the boxes because I'm going to open these and these ones are going to be displayed in my movie room or game room, whichever I have or it's a combination of both. <laughs> uh, I'm really, really excited to have these figures because they are super, super, super detailed, very beautiful. Um, I'll read out a you know a couple of... Uh, of the descriptions of each one of the Ninja Turtles before I unbox them and I'll probably just unbox them off camera that way it's a little quicker and the video doesn't have to be too long alright I'm gonna read a couple descriptions on each one of these now alright first up we got Donatello it says here cowbunga dude NECA is proud to announce its first ever one-fourth scale action figures based on the classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Donatello is the turtle's resident techno genius, but, makes no mis ma but make no mistake, he's world-class with the bow staff and highly detailed action figure. It stands at 16.5 inches tall and features 30 points of articulation, including double elbows to fully showcase Donatello's mastery of the martial arts. It's entirely accurate to the movie and comes with a bow staff, a pizza slice, and an ooze canister accessory, and seven interchangeable hands. Cool. And then up next we have uh, Raphael. He's personally my favorite Ninja Turtle out of the four. Um, and uh, NECA's uh, description for him. Uh, you are unique among your brothers for you choose to face the enemy alone. NECA's second 1-4 scale action figure from the 1990 Ninja Turtles movie is the loner Raphael. Of all the turtles, he struggles the most with issues, anger, uh, anger issues, and frequently butt heads with Leonardo. Raphael also stands at 16.5 inches tall and features 30 points of articulation, including double elbow joints to fully showcase his mastery of the martial arts. The figure is highly detailed and entirely accurate to the movie and comes with Psy accessory, a uh, slice of pizza, of course, and interchangeable hands. And up next, we've got uh, Leonardo. It says here for their description is Radical Dudes, NECA's third one-fourth scale action figure from the 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie is Leonardo, the leader of the Turtles. No one works, studies, or trains harder than Leonardo. He has the respect of his brothers and leads by example, not by giving orders. 
Leonardo also stands at 16.5 inches tall, features 30 points of articulation, including double elbow joints, to fully showcase his stealthy moves. The figure is highly detailed and entirely accurate to the movie, and comes with katana accessories that fit in the scabbards on the back of his shell, unbroken mutagen canister, a slice of pizza, no anchovies, and interchangeable hands. All right, and uh, I just want to say, uh, Michelangelo, my uh, second favorite Ninja Turtle, uh, is not out yet. I believe that one comes out in September, and I'll be looking for that one um, whenever I can get a hold of that, either through Amazon, Toys R Us, or maybe I can order it through NECA. All right, and then I'll go ahead and unbox all three of these off camera. I'll be right back. All right, before I uh, actually take them all the way out of the box, I just wanted to show how it looked like in the box. I did take off all the little uh, plastic uh, ties. Uh, that took forever. <laughs> um, as you can tell, the turtle's in there. Um, and then all the accessories are right here. You got, let me see, one, two, three sets of hands uh, for, you know, the different poses. If you want to use different hands for, like, his weapons, the size right there. And there's the uh, pizza. And I believe it said there was a canister of ooze in there, too, but I do not see that. So I'll just take it out of the box and... If it's in there, if it's in there. If it's not, they lied. I'm pretty sure it said canister of ooze. It might have been just Leo and uh, Donnie for the uh, canister of ooze. But if it's in there, I'll display it with him. Um, not sure how I'm going to do this. If I'm going to... Maybe I'll just leave the weapons and accessories. I don't know. In the box. And just display the actual turtle itself. We'll see. <laughs> And before I open the other boxes, I just wanted to take him out real quick to show you a couple of the details. Um, his bandana itself is the same rubber material, but as you can tell on the back, it's a nice cloth material. Shell's pretty detailed. It's got some uh, battle damage on there. The uh, top part of his torso is, uh, I don't know how you say that, free moving differently than the bottom. Um, his elbow pad is rubber, but like this inside is a softer rubber. So when you like bend his arm, it does bend a little bit with it. The shell's nice. His face, teeth, all really detailed, nice. The uh, skin texture really really cool figure uh, some of the accessories it's all in there like that everything's sealed in there okay I'm gonna go ahead and open those other guys <laughs> and display them and here we got uh, Leonardo. I'm gonna pull him out real quick, show you some of his details. Again, face really detailed. I like those eyes. Oh, I forgot to take the rubber band off. And again, bandana is the rubber material, and then the back is a really, really soft cloth. And then. Got his sword sheaths on the back. I don't remember what they called them. <laughs> but yeah, same thing. The upper torso is, you know, free moving from the bottom. So there's a lot of detail in this one too. And then, as you can see, he's got a little more accessories. Um, same amount of hands. Except uh, he's got some really long swords. Those are nice. And then there's that canister of ooze. So, yeah, I believe it was Donatello and Leonardo. 
not sure about Michelangelo because that one again don't come out till uh, September all right and get back to unboxing these figures <laughs> and next up we got uh, Donatello in the box gonna pull him out and show you some of his detail same thing nice face mold textures nice eyes bandana nice rubber material and then soft cloth for the end of it now the back of his shell has these little ties for his bow staff and I'm not gonna lie I <laughs> I uh, went and popped the movie in just to make sure that that's how they were because this you know the the company NECA states in the description that this is accurate to the movie and lo and behold yes I saw it in the movie he has uh, little ties like just like these to hold his bow staff and same thing with the other two is uh, top torso is free moving of the bottom yeah these figures are really nice got real nice detail I'm very happy with them and then he's got the same amount of arms or hands I mean um, no he has one less hand yeah he has one less hand than the other two I wonder why that's weird the other two had uh, six extra hands so three sets this one has five extra hands that's that's weird wonder why they chose that hmm but yeah he's got his bow staff down there slice of pizza and the canister of ooze so Raphael didn't get a canister of ooze just Donnie and uh, Leo so far I don't know about Mikey yet till it comes out in September but one thing was weird to me um, and I had to look it up too the uh, canister of ooze says TCRI and I could have sworn it was TGRI and I have a, a hardcover of the original graphic novel and it is it's TCRI for the original and uh, the first movie in the second movie Secret of the Ooze they changed it to TGRI for some reason I'm not a hundred percent sure why I'm gonna look up that later you, you learn something new every day <laughs> all right and I'll get this one posed up and be back and show you the all three turtles posed and here we go all three of them posed there's that canister ooze says TCRI on it and wow this is awesome uh, I'm super happy to have these like I said they're really detailed and nice I don't know if my camera is really you know doing these figures justice my lighting and stuff isn't all the greatest I'll try to get in some of this detail definitely cooler with the weapons and I just put uh, Leo's swords in his <clears throat> the back of his shell the sheaths the TCRI <laughs> secret of the ooze <laughs> Donnie got his bow staff and I honestly cannot wait for September to get that Michelangelo these figures are so beautiful and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end the video with some dramatic uh, bandana wind blowing <laughs> oh my fans not that strong <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then blowing in the wind. Oh, it's not even on the highest thing. <laughs> there we go.
a little better with the higher setting. Definitely really cool. <laughs> All right. And that'll uh, wrap up the video. Um, if you like what you saw, hook it up with a like. You know, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Um, as always, uh, you know, comment, share, like, subscribe. Uh, I do appreciate any kind of comments, positive, negative. It all goes to helping me better these videos. And I'm trying to, you know, upgrade my production, maybe a better camera, some uh, external microphones or something, and better lighting. I know this isn't the best of lighting, but I make do. <laughs> and, you know, always, uh, uh, like I said, I'm a big fan of the Ninja Turtles. I don't have like, you know, every Ninja Turtle figure out there, but I do collect quite a few and just happy to have these ones. I couldn't uh, get my hands on the Sideshow collectible uh, line for the Ninja Turtle movie. Those ones are a little more pricier than these ones. But like I said, I got these at Toys R Us in store. Um, and they, I know they have a few coupons right now floating around, 20% uh, off or something like that. Um, and uh, the Raphael I had to order off of the uh, website, and I believe it's still in stock. So if you're looking to get it, I would do it quick because, like I said, uh, when I saw these the first time, it was at a comic convention, and they were going for, I believe, somewhere around two two hundred fifty dollars each. And the re the retail for these is, I believe, a hundred eight dollars each maybe maybe a hundred dollars i i'm pretty sure they're 108 though and again thank you for uh watching all right bye